shoot. Before we even get this video started, let's just take a look and take a second to look at this monstrosity here. All right, so let me give you some backstory. Washed my car yesterday, came out here, hand washed it, polished it down the whole nine. It's been out here all of 16 hours maybe. Look at it now. Yep, pollen. Damn pollen. It's that time of year, folks. But at least it's getting warmer, as you can see. Short sleeves here. Nothing that micro cloth, uh, micro cloth, microfiber cloth can't fix here. Just a quick wipe down. Give me a minute. I'll be back with you guys in a second. Now that that's done, on to the reason for this video. All right, squad, so the purpose of this video is it's a photo shoot day. As you can see, it's beautiful out here, gorgeous weather. They call this magic hour when the sun is going down like this. And I figure, what the hell, let's just go ahead and get a photo shoot in. So let's go over the equipment list. Camera bag, drone just in case. Holy Bible in case you run into any demons or anything. I just thought about that demon, like a Dodge demon. That'd be cool. The downside of summer this right here i just washed my car oh by the way guys it's official now just washed my car got these from uh vinyl sickness or sick vinyl something like that i'll put the link down in the bottom just washed my car yesterday look at this literally just washed it yesterday you're killing me i mean look at the oh my god i don't I don't even know what that is. All right, so before we get rolling here, the hardest part about a photo shoot is finding somewhere to shoot the photos. Um, finding somewhere that's interesting. The thing about me, and I'll have my link for my Instagram page, is, the, is 13th underscore King. That's 13th underscore K-I-N-G. Uh, but the hardest part is finding a good location. The thing about me is I like taking photos where obviously my car is the focal point or the center point of the shoot. But at the same time, I still like there to be some kind of cool scenery in the background, whether it's, you know, uh, grass and trees, whether it's maybe downtown and I've got some buildings behind me. Maybe it's like off in the sunset. I mean, this is perfect timing here. It's right at 630 here. And as you can see, the sun is going down ever so slowly here. And they're saying that it'll be sunset completely right at about 745. So we've got about an hour here to play with. So let's go ahead and get into it. Squad. So we're at the first location as you can see it's a dope one. This is the parking deck here in uh, Huntersville You can see you got the beast park there The reason I parked it there as opposed to over there in that corner is just because of the scenery behind it I mean look at the skyline and look at the the sun and all that stuff man. You see what I'm saying? I told you guys it's all about your ambience like your, your ambiance I'm sorry your ambiance and your atmosphere and what's going on behind the shot like obviously the focal point is the, the car but at the same time, you want to make sure that you're shooting it in a scenic place to further complement the picture. By no means that I'm a photographer, I'm just good with words. So let me go ahead and knock this out and we'll check it out in a minute. So the biggest thing is you want to make sure you get angles, 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 angles. So it'd be one thing for me to just set the car up straight and just let it go to work. Just messing with the tires, but you want to position it in such a way, almost like, almost like a model. Like it's one thing to just pose and just, you know, smile and all that good stuff. But at the same time, it looks better. It looks better if you can 
kind of accentuate certain parts of the car. Like with my particular car, I think the sexiest part about it is the front end and the back end. And that probably sounds weird because it's like, well, what other parts of the car are they? Well, the reason I say the front end is because of just kind of that really smooth grill look, right? And then the LED lights at the front. Now, I don't typically like shooting with the LED lights on in the front, the uh, daytime driving lights. What does that sound? Okay. Yeah, I don't typically like shooting with those just because uh, it kind of takes away from the photo. It takes away from the car. You focus more on the lights than you do the car itself. That light in the back is iconic one of a kind and you know it's a dodge a mile away not only a dodge but a dodge charger a mile away a lot of my photos that you'll see will always be either of the front or of the back i don't really do too much side shot stuff just because it's just kind of boring to me you know i'm gonna face the wheels i guess towards you or away from you in such a way that you see the rim not the tire no one wants to look at tire no one cares about tire you always want to face the wheels I guess away from you or away from how you're shooting that way you're getting the rim which accentuates the car as opposed to the tire which does nothing for you whatsoever it's just a boring tire it's a boring black tire and nine times out of ten the tires got all kinds of road residue that's going to take away from your picture you have a clean car clean rims and a dirty tire naturally that's going to take away from your picture so you want to position your car in such a way that it accentuates the car and the best parts and the best features of the car and only you know that because every car is different for all you guys out there that's doing the photography stuff like one thing you want to be mindful of is you know right now it's seven o'clock the sun's going down people are already off of work that's probably the best time to get out there and shoot is around this time because for one traffic is not bad so if you want to do like a stop in the road and shoot type shit you can certainly do that you have a better chance of doing that around this time than say three or four in the afternoon the biggest thing for me like when i first started like taking photos i had no idea how to be creative just because it's like to say be creative is like to say i don't know go wherever you want it's like where it's like go on vacation where you know what i'm saying like give me some sort of context for where you want me to go give me some sort of context of how to be creative like that's the thing about being creative is that it really is just an open world like it's really as far as your mind can take you and as far as your mind can you know conjure up or imagine or whatever the case may be so that's the biggest thing guys just be creative try some different angles try some different shots you know get right up on it get far away from it you know incorporate incorporate your surroundings like you see that construction zone right there if i wanted to i would put my car right there in the middle of that construction zone and that way my car would be the focal point everything else is dirty and mess and all that stuff but here my car is pristine and clean so that's just one uh aspect to look at guys but we're on to our second spot hopefully i can get there if not i might have to cut this video short the light still looks good out there it's really looking good at this point so uh yeah see you guys in a minute squad so i think that's going to be about it for the day man i think i'm only going to get one spot in i got a couple spots in yesterday i should have filmed yesterday um didn't get around to but yeah so that's the biggest thing man and always one thing that you always want to do just for the sake of time because some of the best spots to film at or shoot at um photo shoot is illegal spots right spots that you're not supposed to be spots that are you know private property spots that are property of a company or something like that let me roll up the window here for you guys you want to make sure that you always have your camera set and ready right so i have a big camera box or a big camera bag kind of like a uh with a pelican case uh and that's where i hold and house all of my camera equipment which is perfectly fine but the thing is it takes time to get set up and imagine that I'm taking a picture, I don't know, at like an impound lot or a police station if I wanted to get real risky, like gone in 60 seconds type risky. I would have to get out of my car, shut it down, get the picture real quick, get the angle, get the picture real quick, get back in and get the hell out of Dodge. Otherwise, I run the risk of being ran off or, you know, possibly even charged. You always want to have your shit ready, essentially. And as you can see, I've already got my camera lock, stock, and loaded. It's got the lens on it, battery in it. All I got to do is park my car, set up and shoot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. As always, guys, like, subscribe, comment, smash that subscribe button. Um, and as always, man, please take it easy.